lot of information with it. This one has uh, not as much. Bone and blood are really easy. So the four main types of connective tissues are all represented here. This is adipose, which is a type of connective tissue proper. We have cartilage, which is type of cartilage, bone, bone, blood, blood. Loose connective tissue and fibrous connective tissue all belong to connective tissue proper. So look, all of that stuff just in your elbow. Who knew? All right. Uh, what are the functions of connective tissue? Well, like these tendons and the lig there. Gosh, dang it. My pen died on me. Hold on. It's come. There it is. Tendons and ligaments in your body um, are good examples of connective tissue, and obviously they're good for binding and supporting. Protection. As you can see, it's kind of protecting or wrapping up the knee, so it makes it easier uh, or less likely to injure the knee. Insulation. Fat cells are really good at that, and your blood is good for transport. So these are the four main functions, but there's lots of little functions in between. Some characteristics of connective tissue, what they all have in common, is one, that they all come from mesenchyme. I don't know if you remember, but you start out as a three-layered hollow ball of cells, and each of those layers turns into your endoderm, mesoderm, and ectoderm. Well, mesenchyme makes mesoderm, which deals with making your connective tissue. The degree of vascularity is... Uh, what they all have in common is that it's not common. We have some that have absolutely no blood tissues whatsoever to richly uh, vascularize, which means they have lots of capillaries and arteries and veins. And the third one that they all have in common is that they have an extracellular matrix. So not the bad movie matrix, but that all the cells float around or live in things that are not alive. We call that not living portion the matrix. So here is a picture of, this is you, what you looked like when you're, ooh, maybe four or five days conceived. And so right in the middle, you can see this layer. Here's mesoderm right here. There's endoderm. There's ectoderm. So the mesoderm makes a mesenchyme, which is what makes up all these connective tissues. And so they all make things like bone and cartilage and connective tissue and adipose, all from that one layer of cells. All right, some structural elements of connective tissue is that they all contain something called ground substance, which is basically the extracellular matrix, fibers of different sorts, and cells. So here's a generic picture of connective tissue, and you can see inside that all the light blue all around it is just stuff, space. So we call that ground substance or extracellular matrix. The fibers, you can see anything that's just kind of looks like hair or spider webs those are all fibers we have elastic fibers we have reticular fibers we have collagen fibers all which keep uh, our healthy young look <laughs> about us see me <laughs> and then we have our cells now depending on where we at we'll have different cells it could be a macrophage it could be a fibroblast a lymphocyte fat cells mast cells neutrophils so we'll get into the cells later depending on which type of connective tissue we're looking at all right, let's take a little more detailed look as to ground substance, which is the extracellular matrix. This is the stuff in between the cells. They fill the space between the cells. It contains lots of stuff. It contains fluid. So interstitial fluids just means between the cells. Um, we also refer to that as lymph fluid, lymphatic fluid. They have proteins, cell adhesion proteins that let the cells stick to each other and funky things called proteoglycans, which are basically like Velcro, and they help to keep everything together. There's also a really cool protein in there called laminin, and so allow me to geek out on just a moment. Laminin, because it is part of the stuff that holds it, us all together, I think it's just pretty darn cool that the stuff that holds us all together looks like a cross. I think that's cool. You may or may not, but I do. All right, next up, fibers. Um, we have three main types of fibers that are found in our matrix. One is collagen, and so if we look on here, collagen are these big thick ones, and they're kind of like um, big rubber bands. They provide tensile strength, so they allow your skin to stretch and then spring back to normal. Elastic also has the same idea, that it stretches and recoils, and so these are these thin guys, very thin spider webby ones. And then we have what are called reticular fibers, and that would be uh, not in this one, but they do have cells. Reticular fibers, what they do is they provide um, the matrix for organs to grow around. It's the scaffolding of your organs. So these are three types of fibers that we can find inside of our connective tissue. And then the cells, lots of different types of cells. We have fibroblasts. These 
help to make the connective tissue proper. Chondroblast, remember that word chondro, epichondric, hypochondric. Remember how we said that means cartilage? So, hey look, it makes cartilage. Osteo means bone, so these cells make bones. And then we have hematopoietic, <laughs> that's a fun word, and they make blood. There's other cells in there too, they don't make anything, but they're there. Fat, white blood cells, mast cells, macrophages, plasma, etc. Now you're noticing that some of them end in the word blast. Well, in anatomy, blast means to form. So a fibroblast is a cell that makes uh, connective tissue. Now when you see the word site on the end of it, that means that's a mature cell. So osteoblast makes the bone, osteocyte is the mature bone. So here's a picture over here showing some osteoblasts who are currently in the middle of making some bone. And you can see some cartilage and osteocytes. These are the mature bone cells in here. So mature cells, baby cells. Okay. Where'd it go? That apparently is it. Oh, okay. Never mind. I, I'm a dork. I thought we... I had added all the connective tissue onto this one, but apparently I made this one its own tiny little thing, so enjoy. Uh, the next one, that'll be big.